Hey, it's James here from goodguitarist.com and we're in the peak of summer here in Vancouver, Canada. So I figured it would be a great time to show you five super easy songs that you can play around the campfire that use the same four chords or even less. And throughout this lesson, I'll also have some tips for remembering the songs and being able to confidently play through the whole thing when the time actually comes. And before we get into it, I just wanna show you something. This is what you get when you print off the chords and lyrics online. Three big pages to one of the songs that we're gonna be doing today. And sure, that works, but one gust of wind and your chances of getting all the way through the tune, if you're relying on that, you know, those three sheets of paper, that goes into the campfire. So during this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to write these songs down out in the easiest way. Like, you could even write it down on your arm like this. Or if you're like me and the words to the song aren't really your strong point, you can put it all on one page like this and just have the chords in the corner. And that is way more manageable. You know, I'm, I'm one of those people myself that I don't have the easiest time remembering lyrics. So I chose these songs specifically because a lot of people do know the lyrics. So you can kind of just start playing the simple, like, you know, whatever, four chords there. And you know, there's a pretty good chance that somebody else is going to chime in and start singing or, you know, they could pull up the lyrics on their phone. I also made sure that the songs are fairly easy to remember. You know, the order of the chords is easy to remember because there's a lot of songs, even though they're just three chords, they kind of change in like almost a random order, you know, and at really strange times. And that makes it really hard to keep track. So these ones are all super straightforward. Everything's just like for that, for that, done, you know? Um, really repetitive and, and easy to get through. And everybody loves these songs. So let's just jump right in. The first song I wanna show you is Sweet Home Alabama. Big wheels keep on turning Alabama once again I think it's a sin Sweet home Alabama Where the skies are so blue Sweet home Alabama Lord, I'm coming home to you So that's Sweet Home Alabama and it's been slightly simplified. There's like a couple chord shots and stuff that when you play with a whole band is super cool. But if you're just playing around a campfire, all you need is three chords. I, it's this one right here, D, C, G, G. So for the D chord, it's just a straight up D chord. And then for C, you can play a normal C chord or from D, you lift up these two fingers your index and your middle, and then you put your middle finger on the third fret where it goes at the root of the C chord, and then your index on the second fret of D. So third fret of the A string, second fret of the D string. And that makes C add nine, and that's what they do on the recording. And what's really cool about this is when you go to switch into G, you just move those two fingers up, and then you add your pinky, and you get your G chord. So those are the three chords that we're using for this one. And as far as the order, we play our strumming pattern one time on D, and the strumming pattern goes root, root, down, down, up. Root just means like a little downstroke. You know, you don't have to be too picky. You don't have to get the exact root. You just aim somewhere in here, and you just go one, two, and then on three, strum them all, and then on four, down, up. So we divide it into beats like that. Beat one is a root, beat two is a root, beat three is a full downstroke, and beat four is a down up. And that'll help you with the feeling of the song, you know. So we do that one time on D, then we switch to our C chord. You can do the regular C chord or C add nine. I put my middle finger a little bit higher so that it mutes the thickest string, and that way I can kind of just aim wherever with my strumming, and I can keep my strumming nice and loose. And we do our strumming pattern one time on C, and then two times on G. And that's it, that's the whole thing. And you see that over and over 
over again. You know, just this, this progression right here. When it comes to writing it out, what I like to do is I print the lyrics. So, you know, I'll just put them on the side here. You can see the lyrics for this tune. And, you know, it's usually too long for a single page. So I take the choruses because they're all the same. And I just rep I keep the first chorus. I make it bold. And then I take the rest of the choruses and I replace them just with the word chorus, just to remind me of what's going on. And then in the corner, I write out my little, I call this a chord grid. And you basically write out the chord symbol every time you do the strumming pattern on it. So we have D, strumming pattern one time on D, strumming pattern one time on C. Then we're doing our strumming pattern twice on G. So we write out G two times. And that's what chord and lyric sheets, when you just go on like ultimate guitar, that's what they're missing. You know, they don't really tell you how many times to do the strumming pattern for, but this just fixes that. And then you have the lyrics on one side, you have the chords on the other side, done. Um, you know, it is good to like learn the words, but if that's where you're at, if you just want to focus on playing guitar, let somebody else handle the words. That's it. That's all you need. Now, when it comes to the mechanics of playing, you know, like being confident with your chord shapes and your strumming pattern, I am going a little bit faster in this one because we're covering a lot of material. If you do need help with breaking it all down, I have a ton of lessons dedicated to that. I have a free ebook that's completely free for all my subscribers. I'll put a link in the corner that goes over all the fundamentals of guitar. It's something it's up to like over 60 pages at this point, you know, and it just has everything you need to get started. All the chords, strumming, chord switching, all that stuff. So please get your copy if you haven't yet. Otherwise, we're going to move on to our second song. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came Down in the hollow Playing the new game Laughing at a running Skipping at a jumping In the misty morning fog with Our hearts are thumping you Brown eyed So that's Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. And you know, this is one of the most classic songs. If you've ever been to a wedding, you've heard this song before, you know, it's like uh, it's still in rotation like 50 years later. As far as the components, it uses all four of the chords that we're gonna be doing today. The first section just uses three. It goes G, C, and then G, D. So I just think of it in like two bits, G, C, G, D. And we do it with the most common strumming pattern ever. Down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. It really helps if you say it. Miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Once again, we're going really fast here because we have a lot of stuff to go through. If you need help with that, I have a lesson covering the most common strumming pattern ever and all the chords and stuff like I, like I mentioned are in my ebook. My complete beginner's course has that stuff too, like, you know, way more in depth. So definitely check that out. Anyways, back to our subject at hand. The verse for this one, we're going to do the strumming pattern one time on each chord. G, C, G, D. And we do that a few times, I think like four times, and then we work our way into the chorus. And this is a bit longer than the other parts. For the chorus, it's C, D, G, E minor. And then we start that again, C, D, G, but instead of E minor, we play D. And that's the entire chorus, you know, that those eight chords in a row. So for this one, I definitely recommend writing out one of those chord grids. You know, once again, you print off the lyrics and then in the corner, you draw out your chord grid like this. and. That's, you know, your verse on the top, your chorus underneath. That's another one that you can add to your collection. Our third song. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we see No, I won't Just as long as you stand by me So darling, darling, stand by me 
by me. And that one is just the same eight measures over and over again. Here's what it looks like on our chord grid. So we play our strumming pattern two times on G, two times on E minor, C, D, and then two times on G. And the strumming for every song here on out is the same one that we did for Brown Eyed Girl. You know, the most common strumming pattern ever. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And yeah, we just play our strumming pattern one time per each chord there, and that's how you would do Stand By Me. And once again, print that off, write out the those chords in the corner, and you have one piece of paper that has everything you need. And ideally, you're gonna run through these tunes a whole bunch of times with your chord sheets, but then I want you to put them away and see if you can do it without them. You know, I think that's a really important step because ultimately you want to be in the moment, not in the paper. And, you know, you want to be feeling it out with all the people around you, your friends, family, whoever it is that you're hanging out with. And if you're lost in the page, they'll still have a good time and it'll be awesome. Don't get me wrong. You'll still be doing a great job, but you should have a great time too. And, you know, these songs, they're simple enough that with a little bit of work, you can totally get through them without the page. I know for me personally, as long as I can kind of remember the first like couple words of each section, I'll be able to get the rest of it. You know, for me, that's usually good enough. So sometimes you could even just write that down on your chord grid or even on like a little post-it note and put it on top of your guitar, you know, make your little cheat sheet. And that's a good strategy to kind of like wean yourself off of having the whole page. Cause like I showed you at the beginning of this, you know, when you have your like three pages, it's just so cumbersome and it just gets in the way of it, right? And uh, I get that having the songs completely memorized is like a whole big thing. So there's kind of that, all those little spaces in between, you know, to work your way up into that to make it a lot simpler and, uh, and more manageable. Our fourth campfire tune. Heading down south to the land of the pines I'm thumbing my way down north Staring up the road and pray to God I see headlights Made it down the coast in 17 hours Picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers I'm hoping for Ali I can see my baby tonight So rock me and mama like a wagon wheel Rock Mama, rock me Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain Rock me, mama, like a southbound train Hey, mama, rock me Once again, same four chords, same strumming pattern the chord order for this one, you can see it right there in the corner. As I demonstrated before, I printed this all off onto one sheet, put that in the corner. There you go. So this is a really fun one. And once again, it's the same thing over and over again. Out of all these, Brown Eyed Girl is the most complicated. It's the only one that has different sections at all. The rest of them is just like that one section over and over. You might want to do a swing feel for the strumming pattern. That's one of the different things. Instead of doing it straight like you know, where it's like completely mechanical, just like tick, 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 just ticking away. You do longer downstrokes. You know, it has that like, that blues feel. But aside from that, it's really straightforward. So that's another tune that you can get with these same four chords and strumming pattern. And the final song that I want to show you Early in the morning Rides into the street Light me up that cigarette And I'll strap shoes on my feet I got to find a reason The reason things went wrong I got to find a reason why my mind's all gone is what I got Love is what I got And 
that one is my personal pick out of this whole one. You know, um, normally I like to do popular songs or whatever, but for me, this song reminds me of graduating elementary school. I was in like grade seven and my brother had just got his car and he just got this album and we like drove to McDonald's and they used to sell hamburgers for like 30 cents each or something on some promotion. And we bought like a mountain of them and it was like the first day of summer. And, uh, you know, so this one is, is, is a special one to me. And as far as the, the chords and everything are concerned, it's just the same two chords back and forth. It's just a D chord and a G chord. It's the same strumming pattern that we've been using this entire time, but something that you can do to spice it up and make it feel a bit more like the original recording is instead of strumming all the strings when you're doing it, which is cool, you know, I would, I would do that at some point during the song, but you can start off going with the same motions. doing it really small. Like you can see, I have my hand kind of touching the guitar here. So I go like down, down, and then I go up on the B string. That's the trick with this one, is doing your first upstroke on the B string, and then your second upstroke on the G string. And then for all the downstrokes, just making them really small. B, G. See how I'm doing that? I'm just down, down, and then up on B, up on G, and then, you know, finishing off the pattern. And we can cut out that last upstroke, you know, and that makes it feel like the tune. I'll do it super slowly. This one, I don't even think you need to write out the chords. Just remember that you play D first and then G, and that's all there is to it. One time per chord, get through the entire song. There is like other cool stuff like. And I'm like 95% sure that I've already taught that in another lesson. I'll put that in the corner. If I haven't, I'll make the lesson soon because it's a super cool guitar part. Either way, those are my top five campfire songs. If there's a tune that you think I should have done, please let me know in the comments down below and I can maybe do another one of these in the future. Also, if you'd like some help with the basics, don't forget to check out my free ebook, which will help you with everything that you need to become a confident strummer. I also have my complete beginner's course, which does that, but it guides you through it every step of the way. And I'll include a link for that too, if you're interested. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.